How can thought be so powerful? Robert Crosby's response to this question is read by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society. This piece is an extract from Answers to Questions on the Ocean of Theosophy by Robert Crosby, published in 1933. Robert Crosby's response. Because every form seen by us, or unseen, is endowed with intelligence in some degree, because thought precedes action and institutes it, and because the effects of thought are consciously or unconsciously felt by beings near and remote, arousing them to some kind of action. Thought does not exist of itself. It is always the product of some thinker. Every thought is in regard to some thing and produces an image of that thing. The concentration of the thinker upon the matrix he has created draws into it the lives that swarm in the terrestrial atmosphere, energizes them and gives them direction according to the motive and desire of the thinker. This matrix, made a living force, can insidiously impel to action other thinkers whose natures and desires are similar, or who have the seeds of such desires within them. And all this whether the creator of the matrix is conscious of the results or not. Thought, or more correctly, the ability to think, is the most powerful creative, destructive, preservative or regenerative agent that any beings possess. It acts weakly and strongly according to the knowledge and power of concentration of the thinker. In occultism, thought is the real plane of action. What we see or perceive physically are merely the effects of thought.